The Lord will come and he will not delay. He will illumine what is hidden in darkness and reveal himself to all the nations. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the coming solemnity of your Son may bestow healing upon us in this present life and bring us the rewards of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, there is no other. I formed the light and created the darkness. I make well-being and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Let justice descend, O heavens, like the dew from above. Like gentle rain, let the skies drop it down. Let the earth open and salvation bud forth. Let justice also spring up. I, the Lord, have created this. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Who announced this from the beginning and foretold it of old? Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. By myself I swear and utter my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying, only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. The word of the Lord. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. 
Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the way of his steps. Let the earth rain down the justice and the earth bring forth a savior. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Raise your voice and tell the good news. Behold, the Lord God comes with power. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? When the men came to the Lord, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? At that time, Jesus cured many of their diseases, sufferings, and evil spirits. He also granted sight to many who were blind. And Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight. The lame walk. Lepers are cleansed. The deaf hear. The dead are raised. The poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. The Gospel of the Lord. So Jesus says, blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. The word offense there, uh, skandalizatai, skandaliz, scandalon, scandal. Blessed is the one who is not scandalized at me. How are you scandalized at Jesus Christ? How are you scandalized at Jesus Christ? Well, because he's claiming to be the one. He's making it pretty clear he's the one that they've waited for for centuries. And here are the signs. Blind regain their sight, lame walk, lepers cleanse, deaf hear, dead raised, poor have good news preached to them that transforms their hearts. He's he's saying he's the one the prophets uh, foretold because the prophets said he would do this. And why is it such a scandal if he's the one Well, it means we owe him our life. It means he's God's connection to us. It means he's the Messiah. He's the one unique anointed Messiah who will bring salvation to humanity. And if that's the case, then we owe him our faith, our obedience, our allegiance. And that's a scandal to some people. Uh, I'm sorry to say it's even a scandal some Catholics when we say Jesus is the one. <clears throat> little anecdote. Probably two months ago now, I get a call uh, here, emergency phone, 4 a.m. <laughs> Somebody from another state uh, who somehow, all kinds of reasons, he ended up calling our parish. And he's going through a crisis and says things like, Father, I have a doctorate. You know, there is no way we can believe today that Jesus is the only one. And that the Catholic Church, how can the Catholic Church think she should be teaching, which there's no one who can accept what the Catholic Church teaches these days. I mean, there's anyone with an intellect would know. Of course, he's talking to a priest, <laughs> you know. And I simply say, no, I've I believe it. 
I'm sold on it. He's the one. He's the one Savior and Messiah. There's nothing logically wrong with saying that. It's not irrational. He's the one the Lord sent. God the Father sent into the world. He's the one we're waiting for uh, in this season of Christmas to celebrate his coming and, and look forward to his second coming. He really is the one, and that's what the Catholic Church teaches. He's the one Savior. He's the one through whom anyone who gets to heaven gets to heaven. Jesus Christ. That's it. And that's a scandal to people because we're in such a relativistic culture that how can we teach that? How can we teach that there's one absolute Savior? Well, because he proved it to us and even rose from the dead to conquer death and sin. No one's done that. No one has done. He's the only Savior of the world. And that can't be a scandal. We have to give ourselves to him, accept him in faith for who he claims to be. And here he is saying, I'm the answer. That's why he's telling him, go tell John, I'm the answer. Here's all your signs. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Still today, in this modern world, um, and people with doctorates can accept him and give their hearts to him and humbly subordinate their whole life to him and try to serve him so that the world is even better served around us who believe him and give our lives uh, to him and try to live filled with his divine uh, power. So may we not be scandalized, especially Catholics, <laughs> at belonging to Jesus Christ and acknowledging he's, he's the one. He's the one I give my whole allegiance to I absolutely believe who he claims uh, to be. And he deserves every, every ounce of uh, my love and my allegiance. And it's that one unique Savior of the world who comes to us so mercifully and in so much goodness every time in the holy sacrifice of the Mass to refresh us with his goodness. And with trust in our Lord's goodness, we bring to him our needs. For all priests, religious, and lay servants of the church, that the gifts of the Holy Spirit empower them in their ministry, we pray to the Lord. For the world, that the blessed advent of Jesus may bring peace among nations, we pray to the Lord. For the suffering and sick among us, that Christ's healing presence be upon them and bring them comfort, we pray to the Lord. For all of us present in this assembly, that God fashion our hearts in this Advent season to see Jesus more readily around us, we pray to the Lord. For the souls of the faithful departed, in particular for today's Mass intention, uh, Linda Woodland, And for those parishioners whose funerals will be still this week, today in the coming days, uh, Rita Ettinger, Jerry King, Carol Droll, and Ron Williams. And for all of our family members and friends and parishioners who've gone before us, that God's mercy bring them to eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Father in heaven, we thank you for hearing our petitions. We ask that you use these prayers joined to the sacred heart of your Son in this Eucharist to accomplish your glory. All this we pray through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, 
and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Behold, our Lord will come with power and will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.
Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. 